let's start with a smooth luma fade transition. Open CapCut and add the first video to the timeline, then add the second video as an overlay. Position it like I did so that it covers one part of the first clip. Click on the second clip and then select the remove background feature on the right side of the screen. Activate the chroma key option, then select color picker and position it to any color in your video. After that increase the intensity to 100% and then add a keyframe. Now at the point where you want the transition to end, decrease the intensity. Now I will show you how to make it even better. Right click on your video and then click on show keyframe animation. Click on this arrow and then right click on the first keyframe. After that click on graphs and choose the graph you like. For this transition I will use ease out too. Here you can easily adjust it. After that when you are done right click on your video and then click on hide keyframe animation. The next step to make it better is to add in animation. Click on the animation tab on the right side of the screen and then select fade in animation. Adjust it according to your preference and then select your clips. Right click and choose the create compound clip option to group them into one clip. After editing your transition should look like this. This video wouldn't be possible without Jill Cinepper Weevil 3, a game changer for anyone looking to elevate their videography. The Weevil 3 is ultra compact and lightweight, with folded dimensions similar to A4 paper, weighing just 990 grams. It comes with a 0.96 inch OLED screen, providing a clear and user friendly interface for real time status updates, ensuring smooth and efficient control during shoots. The Weeble 3 features Pro algorithms for ultra smooth stabilization and seamless camera movements. It is powered by two batteries, providing a runtime of more than 16 hours. It offers wireless control with a Bluetooth shutter, eliminating the need for complicated cables. The cool thing is that you can customize the trigger button and adjustment wheel to quickly access your favorite functions and settings. This will adapt it to your recording style and make your tasks easier. You can easily switch it to portrait mode without any extra accessories and it can use the same accessories as the Weevil 3S. You can find the full review video with unboxing and 6 easy gimbal moves in the description. In the next part of the video I will show you how to create a cool thunder transition. Before editing my videos look like this. The first step is to find the right sound effect. Go to the audio tab and click on sound effects. After that type thunder in the search box. Select this sound effect. Add it to the timeline and then remove the part you don't need. After that position the loudest part of the sound effect between your videos. Now move this point as I did to add a fade in effect. The next step is to go to the effects tab and then click on the nature sub tab. Select the lighting effect and add it to the timeline. Position it so that the brightest part is at the point between the videos. After editing your transition should look like this. Next is a speed ramp transition and it looks like this. Before editing my videos look like this. Select the first clip then click the speed tab on the right side. Click on curves and then select fade out. Select this point and move it to the right. Position the points like I did to make the transition look better. Now click on the second clip and then choose fade in. Move this arrow to the left and move the other one according to your preference. This is how my transition looks after editing. Now I will show you how to add new transitions like this one. To start open a juice standalone. 
You will find a tutorial on how to install it and use it in the description. Here you can find many cool packs that you can use to improve your videos. You can purchase these packs for your projects and some are available to download for free. For this video we will use the Neon Analog Glitch Pack. Here you can find many interesting effects that you can easily download. Simply select the effect you like, then click the download button in the upper right corner. Now I will show you how to download perfect sound effects for free. Go to the home page and then click on sound effects free pack. Here you will find high quality sound effects completely free. Download ones that match the effect you downloaded and then open CapCut. Now import the effect and sound effects you downloaded. Add the effect to the timeline and then position the brightest part at the point between the videos. Select Brighten or Screen Burn mode, then add a sound effect that matches your transition. After editing, my transition looks like this. Now, I'm going to show you a new method to create a transition using the Relight tool. Add the first clip to the timeline, then add the second clip about twice. Position the videos like I did. Select this clip and then go to the Remove Background tab and activate Auto Removal. After that, wait for the process to complete. Then go to the Basic tab and activate the Relight feature. Choose this effect and then for the object option select People. Now reduce the distance and brightness to zero. The next step is to select the clip below. Remove the part of the video on the left like I did and then add fade in animation. Adjust it according to your preference and then select video about. Go to the video tab and then in the blend option add a keyframe. Now at the point where you want the transition to end, decrease the opacity to zero. Next, go to the animation tab and select the in animation you like. Now you can select your videos, right click and select create compound clip to group them into one clip. After editing, my transition looks like this. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos like this one.